big weekend this year, and many people will enjoy the sun and fun this weekend. But for our soldiers overseas, it's going to be business as usual as they continue to work and secure Iraq. Colonel Brian Owens, the Brigade Commander of the 3rd Brigade, 82nd Airborne out of Fort Bragg, joins us now with a look at the progress and sacrifices our troops have made protecting our freedom and the freedom of others. First of all, Colonel, happy Memorial Day. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. This is certainly a time to thank you and to thank those for fighting for our freedom overseas and here at home. But overseas, how will you mark the holiday? How will you celebrate? Well, we have uh, we've conducted some uh, competitions at the battalion level, and we've also remembered our fallen heroes uh, through memorial ceremonies. And we're going to do plenty here as well to honor you guys because thank you so much for everything that you do. Since you've been over there, this is your third tour there with your unit. Tell us about the progress that you've made in Tikrit. We've made some progress here. It's um, the governance has they've uh, they've been successful in um, approving a budget. Uh, we've also seen the leadership step up in the uh, provincial government. Um, the Iraqi security forces, uh, especially our army forces have started doing unilateral operations. Uh, they do some joint operations with us, uh, but they've been stepping out on their own. We continue to develop the uh, police force, and that's where we've got our focus right now, but they are increasing in their activities and ability to um, interface and do some community policing with the, uh, in the city. And so we've seen some progress in the, on the Iraqi side of the house. Well, we do have video of a ceremony on Fort Bragg yesterday that honored the almost 60 paratroopers who died in the past year since last Memorial Day. And in your unit, you've told me that you've lost 45 members while overseas. Uh, you do say that you've had a lot of progress in Tikrit. Do you feel that even more progress is yet to come, or are you seeing more violence these days? Well, attack levels are up, and, um, and I attribute that to the pressures down in Baghdad, over in uh, Al Ambar province and also in Diyala province, which all encompass uh, Saladin, where we are. So the attack levels are up, uh, but what we are seeing is some progress as the Iraqi security forces are stepping up, and uh, we do see some progress in Saladin right now. So uh, there is some uh, hope for the future here. Uh, one thing that we continue to work with is that, as you know, uh, Saladin is primarily uh, predominantly Sunni, and so we continue to work uh, to get the dialogue between the provincial government and the uh, predominantly Shia central government to make sure the dialogue is there and that they're communicating with each other. And that is a big issue for us right now. Do you feel that's going smoothly? Do you feel they're able to communicate with each other with your help? With our help, uh, they are communicating, but there's a ways to go. As you know, as, as you've seen in the papers, uh, the political situation, uh, reconciliation, elections, uh, provincial powers laws, many other things seem to be moving very slowly in the central government. And so uh, our Sunnis here in Saladin uh, continue to lose some faith, uh, but we continue to work with them and encourage them. And the dialogue is definitely open between the province and the central government. That's good to hear. And since you've spent a lot of time overseas, do you hope to see a plan for troop withdrawal in the near future? Well, as you know, that's a decision for our civilian leadership to make. Uh, but as our troopers, you'd be amazed at how resilient our paratroopers really are. Uh, they're encouraged and they're, they're very uh, excited about the mission. Uh, they get out there every day and help the Iraqis help themselves. And I've been very pleased with their responses, especially after the um, announcement of the extension to go from 12 months to 15 months. Uh, I took a pulse of the troopers and talked to them. And their, their concern is not for themselves. It's for the Iraqis here. And many of the married paratroopers have said, you know, they're more, mostly concerned about how their wife is doing back home. Well, that's very admirable, and we appreciate everything you do. Colonel Owens, thank you for being with us today. Happy Memorial Day, and I can probably speak for a lot of people when I say thank you for everything you do. We appreciate you and all the other service men and women overseas who are fighting for our freedom. We appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come home safely.
Thank you.